around Dodge City and in the territory on West, there's just one way to handle the killers and the spoilers, and that's with a U.S. Marshal and the smell of gun smoke. Gunsmoke, starring William Conrad, the story of the violence that moved west with young America, and the story of a man who moved with it. I'm that man, Matt Dillon, United States Marshal, the first man they look for and the last they want to meet. It's a chancy job, and it makes a man watchful and a little lonely. <laughs> Easy. Can't help it. I'm going to get you out of sight. The law? I think we lost him. Doubling back. There. Now, let's see now. Joe... It's no use fooling with it, Joe. You just hold still. <laughs> oh, that dirty marshal. I, I ain't gonna make it. I'm uh, sure you will, Red. I gotta clean it out some, though. No. No. Just let it be. Now, a little water ain't gonna hurt none. Please, Joe. You hang on now. This ain't no time to quit. We got a chance. We got a way. Not me. That, that marshal fix me. Don't you worry none about that marshal. He ain't finding us now. You, you get him for me, Joe. You're going to be able to get him for yourself, Red. All you need is a little rest. Joe... You, 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 you get him. Red. Red, don't die on me now. We got off. He gave up chasing us. It... Red. All right, Red. All right, I'll get him. If I don't do nothing else, I'll get that marshal. <laughs> I tell you, Kitty, I, I don't know whether to put salt on that feather or, or to shoot it. What? <laughs> What are you talking about, Doc? That feather in your hat. Oh. <laughs> Every time you turn your head, it nearly puts my eye out. Oh, for heaven's sake. If you think this one's bad, look at the one in Jonas' store window. Here. Huh? Oh, that's a... oh. <laughs> oh, well, well, if you were wearing that one, a man would have to get right off the boardwalk. Well, with some of them, that wouldn't be such a bad idea. You may be right at that. Present company accepted, of course. Oh, no. Never mind the soft soap, kid. Oh. You know, any girl would be proud to be seen walking down Front Street with you. Oh, sure. Hey, yeah. oh, look. Huh? Just riding into town. Yeah. Well, it's Matt. Yeah. About time he get back. Uh, Matt! Oh, Matt. Howdy, stranger. What's been keeping you? Say, Matt! Matt! Look. Oh, honey, that's a funny thing, isn't it? He didn't even answer. Oh, the grumpy old goat. He couldn't help hearing us. That's not like him, Doc. No, Kitty, it isn't. I think I'll walk over and have a talk with him. Yeah, Doc, I wish you would. Uh... Oh, Doc? Yes, Kitty? You let me know if he needs anything, huh? Oh, sure, Kitty, yes, sir. I'll do that. Mm -hmm. 
should at least ought to let me take your boots off anyway. Don't bother me, Chester. I ain't wanting to bother you, man, but you won't rest near as good laying there with your boots on. Huh? Well, you just never mind. It's just that I'm trying to make you more comfortable. Huh? Get out of here and let me go to sleep, will you? All right. Well, I'm just too ornery to know how to rest proper then. Just ain't nothing I can do about it. I... Oh, hello, Doc. Matt back there? He's back there, all right, but he ain't worth seeing. What do you mean? Well, he's just plain out of sorts for one thing. Oh, that's nothing new. What else ails him? Well, he ain't acting like he's got good sense. Trying to go to sleep after a four-day ride without even taking his boots off. Mm, I'll take a look at him. I sure do wish you would. Told you. Ah, oh, sure, Doc. Listen, will you come back later, please? No, no, I'll just be a minute. Just want to get some sleep. Open your mouth. What? Uh, what do you want? Let me see your tongue. <laughs> uh, all right, now. Give me your hand. No, oh, Doc. Give it you... to me. I want to take your pulse. Uh-huh. Chester. What? Get me some water. All right, Doc. Old woman. Can't let a man get his sleep. I'll let you get it in a minute, man. In fact, you're going to sleep much better. There you are, Doc. Get the water. Thank you, Jesse. Here. Here you are, man. Uh, take this. Oh, Doc, I don't it's want to take it. It's just a powder to chase away what's left of the fever you've had. So go ahead, Matt, and take it. Here. Tom, fool motion. Yeah. Oh. Matt didn't kill you, did it? Now, will you get out of here? Oh, sure, man, sure. And you'll thank me when you wake up. Will you get out of here? Oh. Oh, boy, I don't know why they'd choose a U.S. Marshal who acts so much like a mule. Hey, Doc. Is, is Mr. Dillon really sick? I think the worst of it is over, but he probably had a pretty bad touch of fever on the trail. No wonder he's worn out. Well, ain't there something I can do for him? Oh, I don't think so, Chester. He needs sleep more than I. Yeah, but, Doc, you know I ain't so bad at taking care of sick folks. I, 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 I know, I know, Jay, I know, but I don't think Matt's going to need any of your expert nursing. Well, it, it just don't seem right. There ain't nothing I you can know, do. You know, Matt's right, my... Chester. You are like an old woman. Well, I'm just trying to help. Well, if you want to help so much, why don't you pick up his things for him? Look, he sure did spread them around, didn't he? Oh, my God. It looks like a pigsty in here. Mm, he just throwed his stuff down as he walked through. <laughs> Saddlebags. <laughs> Bedroll. Yeah. Oh, that's fine. That's good, Chester. You can fix them all up for him. Doc, no, just, just look at there. Here, why? Oh. Wait, just take a look at his gun. Well, he just dropped the belt in the corner there. Yeah, I see. That looks like it's been in the mud. It sure does. Now, that ain't like Mr. Dunn. No, it isn't, but I, I don't think he's been feeling much like himself for the last two or three days. Sir, I just don't understand how his gun could get this way, Doc. Look. Oh, I don't know, Chester. Maybe, maybe he fell off his horse. With a fever, he, he would have been giddy. There's no question about that. Mm. Well, I'm just obliged to clean it for him. All right, now. That's good, Chester. Yes. Now there, there's something you can do at least. Uh, Chester. Mm -hmm. Uh, you want to watch out for one thing. What's that? Well, you want to be sure and take the cartridges out of that gun before you clean it. 
Well, now, Doc. I don't Francis. think Matt would take too kindly to the idea of your using his gun to blow your brains out with. Of course I'll take him out. I haven't started to clean it yet, you know. There. You can see for yourself. Oh, oh well. Well, now, Jerry, I must say that I'm relieved about that. <laughs> well, any yeah. fool would know that. Well, much. I'm glad to hear it. Yes, you th- Well, Chester, I'll see you later. <laughs> don't buy any wooden bullets. Of course I won't buy no wooden bullets. I swear a body don't get credit for no sense at all. <laughs> Mister? Come in and shut the door, boy. There ain't room for no more flies in here. This here's the marshal's office? Yes, this here's the marshal's office. You can't see Mr. Dillon, though. I came to see Chester. You him? I'm Chester. What do you want? I'm to fetch you. Fetch me where? Doc says you're to come. Doc? Oh, that can't be so. It ain't been five minutes since he was right here. You're to come right away. Are you sure about that? Seems like Doc would have told me himself. Down to the corner, Josh Prentice broke his leg. Well, I can't do nothing about that. Doc wants you to help hold him down whilst he sets it. Oh, well, all right. Come right along. Yo, wait. Better look and see if Mr. Dillon needs anything first. is a good place to be shut of tonight. What do you mean? I don't want to be around when Joe Lyme cuts loose. Joe Lyme? Why, he must be a hundred miles from here. <laughs> Not now he ain't. I've seen him. Matt Dillon chased him and his brother out of here after that holdup last week. Uh, you must have seen somebody else. Oh, Matt Dillon chased him all right, and he killed Red. That's why Joe's back to get Matt. You sure? I'm sure. He's down at the livery stable, tending to a lame horse. He's telling it right out plain he's out to get the marshal. So I think I'll ride right on through. Well, I... If I'm going to catch a bullet, I don't want it to be one that was meant for somebody else. So long, Sam. So long, Bill. Sam. Uh, yeah, Miss Kitty. Was that man talking about Joe Lyme? Did he say he's back in Dodge? He sure did, Miss Kitty. Oh. He said he's down at the livery stable and he's out to get the marshal. Well, somebody ought to tell Matt. You want me to send somebody? No, Sam, thanks. I'll go myself. Chester? Chester, we got to wake Matt. Chester. Chester. Oh, dear. 
Matt. Matt, wake up. Come on, Matt. What? Wake up. What? Oh, water. I need some water. Sorry, Matt. I gotta do it. Matt! What? Now, Matt, you got to get up. What? What, what is it, Kitty? It's Joe Lime, Matt. He's in Dodge to get you. Huh? Joe Lime? Yeah. They can't be. I lost him halfway to the border. All right, Kitty, will you go? Matt! I... Matt, it's true. You killed his brother. He's after you. Are you sure? Bill Burr saw him just a few minutes ago. Oh, where? He was at the livery stable. Well, all right, Kitty. I guess I better go over there. Well, wait till I fetch you some coffee. You need your eyes wider open than that. Oh, never mind. Just had me that gun belt. Mm-hmm. Here. Oh, thanks, Kitty. I'll see you later. Matt, are you sure you're all right? I better be all right. Well, now, all right, Josh. That's all there is to it. Well, uh, thanks, Doc. I'll get somebody to drive you out home. Well, now, Doc, I'm, I'm going to be able to use the leg all right again? Of course, uh, Josh, sure. Probably be better than ever after I've worked on it. <laughs> oh, I guess you're right, Doc. All right, now, a couple of you boys, give Josh a hand over to his wagon. Oh, yeah, th- thanks again, Doc. Good boy, Doc. Yeah. Now, is that all you need me for, Doc? Yes, Chester, I guess so. You were a great help. Should be getting on back to office. Sure. Oh, I forgot. Yes, you were in the middle of a mighty important job, weren't you now? Cleaning that gun. Oh, I finished that, Doc. You sure don't give me credit for having much sense, do you? Telling me to be sure and take the cartridges out. Well, you better get the gun back to where Matt left it. He might catch cold if he got up and started wandering around without wearing it. You don't think I'd go off and leave Mr. Dillon's gun where he couldn't find it, do you? Well, I don't know, Chester. I put it right where he can see it. He's all right, Chester. All right. Yeah. Oh. Huh? Oh, my. What's the matter? I got to get back there right away. Well, well, what is it? You you figured the coffee's going to boil over? No, Doc. I clean forgot to put them cartridges back in Mr. Dillon's gun. Out of tune? If you're irregular due to lack of bulk, help yourself get back in tune with Kellogg's All Brand. You'll feel right on pitch when Kellogg's All Brand gentles away irregularity the natural way. So fight constipation as millions do with good-tasting Kellogg's All Brand. A-double-L hyphen B-R-A-N. Kellogg's All Brand. And for all you All Brand users who are also flower fanciers, here's good news. Kellogg's All Brand again is offering beautiful rose bushes, including formerly patented gold medal winners, in a choice of five colors. For each rose bush, just mail 50 cents with a box top from a package of Kellogg's All Brand to Queen of the Garden Roses, Box 974, Tyler, Texas. See the back of specially marked packages of Kellogg's All Brand today for full details. tell you, Marshal. Joe Lime's still in the stable. He's there, all right, and talking awful mean. Almost crazy about you killing his brother. Yeah. I just don't believe I'd go in there, Marshal. And I gotta get him. Well, I just thought I ought to tell you. Thanks, Moss. You stay out of the way. Yes, sir. I believe I will. My 
Lyme. Joe Lyme. Come out of there. I've been waiting for you, Marshal. Ain't you gonna shoot back, Marshal? I gotta see him first. It'll be better for you if you come out, Lyme. You come and get me, lawman. You just come and get me. All right, I'm coming. Look out for the loft, Marshal. He might have got up into the loft. Yeah. Diving into that stall, lawman. Come on down, Lime. Big and brave, like when you shot Red. All right, lawman. I'm ready for your move. Come on. Is you even going to try to get me? Ain't I worth a single shot? You better make your move, Marshal. I'm going to wait up here forever. Come on, move, or I'll move you out. Move, lawman. Give up, Lime. Come on down. You come get me. I don't have to. I've been counting the shots. Your gun's empty. Now, this is your last chance. Come on down. I'm coming down, all right. Yeah. <laughs> Go oh, your gun, lawman. I'll stomp you till you do. That's better. I got your gun. I got you too. Now just stand still. Don't try nothing foolish. I ain't gonna kill you easy, Marshal. I'm going to kill you slow, a little bit at a time. You got anything to say now, lawman? Not to you. Maybe you will after this. <laughs> Why, don't shoot. It's got to shoot. But... It's not going to shoot, Lime. You're through. Not hardly. I can still break you in bits. Sam, I hear you are. You what? make one move and I'll blow you in two. Uh, Chester. Mr. Dunn, you all right? Yeah, I'm all right. You keep him covered with that shotgun. Yes, sir. I got him covered real good. I come down here with a gun as soon as I remembered. Remembered what? Then I forgot to put them bullets back in your gun when I cleaned it. You forgot to put the bullets back? Yes, sir. Your gun was empty. Lord of mercy, you could have been killed, all thanks to me. Yeah, I could have been killed. I would have been, too, Chester. If you had put the bullets back. You mean an empty gun saved your life? I, I just don't rightly understand, Mr. Dillon. Well, I'll tell you about it sometime. Sometime when I'm loading my own gun. All right, Lime. Jail's that way. I get going. stars William Conrad as Matt Dillon, U.S. Marshal. The story was specially written for Gunsmoke by Marion Clark, with editorial supervision by John Meston. Featured in the cast were Vic Perrin, Barney Phillips, Sam Edwards, Harry Bartell, and Richard Beale. Farley Bear is Chester, Howard McNear is Doc, and Georgia Ellis is Kitty. George Walsh inviting you to join us again next week when CBS Radio presents another story on Gunsmoke. You've been listening to the OTR Gold Network. Find more classic radio at otrgold.com.
www.thepowerofpowerpodcast.com. 